this is one of those books that is good for learning calculus and it's inexpensive. It's called Shams Outline Series, Theory and Problems of Differential and Integral Calculus. And this is the one by Frank Iris Jr. This is an older edition. This one includes 974 solve problems completely solved in detail. I believe that newer editions have more solve problems and they've been updated. As always, I'll try to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. So Shams creates books for various subjects and they're awesome because they have examples and worked out solutions and then additional exercises where you can practice. Also, these books contain more content than is typically taught in a course. If you go to college, like say in the United States and take a Calculus 1 course, or maybe you're in high school and you're taking AP Calculus, you're going to learn more from this book than you would from your course because there's just not enough time in an actual course, whether it be college or high school, to cover all of the information that's in this single book. So this has tons of information. Let's take a look inside it. I have a huge collection of Shams books. This is just one of them, so I thought I would show you. Frank Iris, Jr., PhD, Professor and Head, Department of Mathematics, Dickinson College. Cool. And here's the content. It's really clean and nice looking. It starts with variables and functions. Then it goes on to limits, the derivative, differentiation of algebraic functions, implicit differentiation. That's a topic that people struggle with a lot. Tangent, normal, subtangent, and subnormal. Those are maybe things that you've never heard of or seen, but it's in this book. Functions in their graphs. Applied problems in maxima and minima. Rectilinear and circular motion. Related rates, that's a common topic taught in Calc 1 today. Differentiation of trigonometric functions. Differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. Differentiation of exponential and logarithmic functions. Parametric representation of curves. Curvature. Curvilinear motion, polar coordinates, indeterminate forms, differentials, curve tracing, fundamental integration formulas, integration by parts, trig integrals, trig substitution, partial fractions, cool, and then some miscellaneous substitutions, volumes of solids with known cross sections, and then there's more. There's actually more contents. That's, that's not it. It actually keeps going. It's ridiculous how much math is contained in this book. There you can see some more of the contents, fluid pressure, Calc 2 topic, series, more series. And then you even have some multivariable calc in here. Partial derivatives, triple integrals, differential equations. So it's got it's got some Calc 3 stuff. It doesn't have everything, but it has a lot. So it seems like it has quite a bit of Calc 1, Calc 2 topics, and then some selected topics from Calc 3. It doesn't have, uh, it doesn't seem like it has a lot of like vector calculus or anything like that, but it's got some double and triple integrals and stuff. And the, the typesetting is a little bit interesting because it's an older book. I don't know if it's the same on newer books, but here's how it starts. Let's just read it together. It says, a set of real numbers consists of the rationals, integers, and common fractions, and irrationals. Examples are 2, negative 3, 1 third, negative 7 halves, pi, and square root of 5. And then here they have the absolute, absolute or numerical value. They have an absolute value with an n of a real number n is defined as, and they define it here. And it just starts from the very beginning, right? Like just from from not knowing anything and it, and it builds you up. And then you have examples. So you have some like knowledge and then you have some actual problems where it does examples of evaluating functions. That's pretty basic. That's something you would do in an algebra class. So if you're wondering, hey, maybe I should get better at algebra before jumping into this book. No, I don't think so. I think you should just jump into it and see what you can learn. Um, there's no shame in not understanding. I always think it's better to try and fail than to never have tried. And that's especially true for mathematics. Oh, this is a little bit harder. Number two, f of x equals two to the x. Show that f of x plus three minus f of x minus one is equal to 15 halves times f of x. That's pretty cool, right? And they do the, the problem there. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool examples. They look kind of fun, actually. And variables and functions. Cool. Here we get to some calculus, chapter two. So that was chapter one. It's a very small chapter, very self-contained. Uh, so let's see, same outline here, right? So you've got some, some knowledge. You read it, you have definitions and theorems, results, and then you have solved problems. You have solved problems that are worked out completely for you, which is awesome, right? Which is awesome. And you have more here. Look at all of these problems, right? Tons of, tons of work problems, and that's it. And then chapter three is the derivative. Other Shams are a bit different. I don't know if the new edition of, of this has extra problems. It might have extra problems. Like they'll have, they'll have this, 
they'll have the solve problems, and then they'll have like extra problems with answers, and they won't have solutions, just answers. So a lot of times you'll see that in Shams, where they'll give you, you know, the knowledge, the solve problems, and then some additional practice problems. But honestly, I think this is fine. This is more than enough problems for practice. Uh, plus, you get you get full solutions to all of them, which makes it really good. These books are really affordable, even brand new. Um, this book is fairly inexpensive. All of the Shams, all of the books from the Shams series are affordable, which makes them really good. That's why I collect them, a huge collection of Shams books, not just in math, but in other subjects. I have economics and chemistry, physics. So they really span quite a few topics. Here you have the differentiation formulas for algebraic functions, common derivatives that you would see in like a Calc 1 class. Notice the, the poor typesetting. For example, look at look at 8. This is ddx, and it has parentheses around the c over u, but the parentheses need to be bigger, right? So, yeah. If you use LaTeX, you can, you can make them bigger with LaTeX, but I don't... This is an old book. I, I think this is <laughs> before that, perhaps. I'm not really sure when LaTeX was created, but uh, I don't think... Th this is This is way before... Way before that. Yeah, look at that. Tons of examples. Let's jump ahead to like some something deeper. Oh, McLaurin and Taylor's formula with remainders. How exciting. Yeah. If f of x and its first n derivatives are single valued and continuous on an interval including x equals 0, then you have f of x is equal to that. Cool. And then it talks about the uh, McLaurin series being the infinite series. Typically called the McLaurin polynomial. When it's finite, you call it a McLaurin polynomial, and when it's infinite, you call it a McLaurin series. And then McLaurin basically is Taylor. It's basically a Taylor series uh, centered at zero. So here's the Taylor formula with remainder, and then here's the Taylor series down here. And you see if a is zero, so if a is zero in this formula, you're gonna get you're gonna get the one up here. You're gonna get the one up there. I was wondering about Taylor and McLaurin because. Uh, you know, you study that in Calc 2, and it's always, you know, they're always together. I was wondering, were they friends? Were they enemies? Did they know each other? You know, what was their relationship? Because, at least today, they are very, very well-known names in, <laughs> you know, in the entire world. You know, people who study calculus, do they learn about Taylor and McLaurin? So it's kind of kind of fun. Here we have operations of power series. Here's where it gets a little bit harder. The sum of two power series, that's easy. Oh, product of a two power series. There we go. Ooh, quotient of two power series. That takes a bit of work. And you have some examples, which is pretty cool. Ooh, obtain the Maclaurin series for the square root of 1 plus sine x. Wow. Wow, oh, fun. Yeah, interesting stuff. Let's see if they have more examples over here. They do. They do. What else do they have? x over 1 plus x squared squared. That one's pretty easy. That one's not too bad. E to the cosine x. Yeah, these are all pretty, I mean, they're, they're hard, I say easy, but they're harder than, you know, a lot of typical problems that you would see in, in textbooks. Oh, this is cool. Obtain the Maclaurin series for e to the x sine x. I actually have a video on that. And then differentiate it to obtain the series for e to the x cosine x. Oh, how cool. How interesting. Huh. Computations by series. Oh, right, computing values and stuff. Like, find the exact value of 1 over e correct to five decimal places. All right, so you can approximate it with the infinite series. Yeah, so basically, to get this series, e to the negative x, you take the Maclaurin series for e to the x, and you replace it with negative x. Find the value of sine of 62 degrees correct to five decimal places. <laughs> Very nice. So yeah, just a, a nice book with lots of examples, um, lots of calculus. Good for anyone who, uh, you know, wants to learn some calculus. And it's really affordable. So I just thought I would share. It's part of my collection. I think this is the first edition. Pretty sure. I specifically got this one. Um, I, I know I, ha I have a newer version of this too, I believe. But I can't find it. Yeah, wow, this is really old. 1950. Yeah, this is probably the first edition. Nice. Yeah, but there it is. Theory and Problems of Differential and Integral Calculus by Frank Iris Jr., including 974 solved problems, completely signed in, solved in detail. Shop Publishing Company, New York. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, until next time, hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck. Take care.